Hey everyone, welcome to another video and today we're going to take a look at a very cool application for the PSP and this allows us to view all of our files on our memory card. We can delete stuff, move stuff around, create new folders, move our files to a new folder and create new files. So this is a pretty convenient application that way you're not going back and forth on your pc to do these very you know minimal tasks you don't have to plug in your usb go on your pc and do all that you can just do everything directly on your console and that's very cool the cm file manager for the psp version 3.30 was released on march 20th of this year and it was initially released back in 2018 so this developer has been constantly updating it uh, adding all sorts of new different features to it and it's it's pretty solid now when you first launch it it should look something like this you're gonna have the huge icons and going down will take you to uh, all the folders and what you're seeing here on the MSO is everything that's on your memory card which is very nice pressing start will take you to the settings we have the FTP connection that is awesome I'm gonna have to show you guys how to do that in another video uh, we have our sorting options so you can do by name ascending descending or by size largest or smallest and we have a dark theme very nice look at that nice and clean let's go back and change this to large icons or small icons and that's it's, uh, a little nicer for me I, I don't like those big icons right in my face like that so easier on my eyes and let's go into ISO and our parent folder will take us back to the main and let's go into PSP games and we have 300.CSO this is a, uh, an ISO that was converted to CSO to save on space let's press triangle and this will bring up the actions menu we have properties refresh copy move delete and more more has three additional options which is new folder new file and rename going into properties will bring up the information on the file you selected so we have the name the size 689.38 megabytes when it was created access modified let's go back to start and we have developer options you have to be careful because if you press select it'll bring up all these different uh, different options to go into flash flash one flash two and you have to be careful not to delete stuff in here or move stuff around this is very critical information that you don't want to be messing around in uh, unless you know you're a developer right other than that I wouldn't recommend you guys to enable that so you have to be very careful in using that option so I just leave that off and go back to your MSO or MS0 which is your memory card so just be careful with renaming files uh, if you're renaming a ROM that's fine but if you're renaming like an ISO I would be very careful in doing that I just renamed one and it's not showing up anymore which is Harvest Moon so just be extremely cautious with that so now let's take a look at how we can install this application to our console and as long as you're running custom firmware you should be able to use this no problem and I'm currently on 6.61 with infinity 2.0 shout out to Riley Duthit for subscribing the latest subscriber to the channel and we surpassed 16,200 subscribers thank you we are almost at 17 so let's enable our USB connection here is our PSP drive the USB drive G and head on over to the first link in the description and that will take you to github.com under Joel 16 and we want to download the version 3.30 go down under assets and we have two different zip files one for the PSP Go and one for the other PSPs. This will work for 1000, 2000, and 3000. No problem. So click on that and show in our folder. And I already have it there. And it's best to use an extracting program like 7zip to get those files extracted. 
properly there we go so I just right click 7-zip extract files open that up open up the PSP folder open up the game folder and we want to copy this into our whoops into our USB drive so on your PSP go to the PSP folder go into game if you do have categories light plugin enabled just throw it into one of the folders that best fits your preference and if not you can just throw this into the game folder and you're all set now for me I like to throw these into my application folder so I'll just dump that into there and since it's already installed no need to copy that over so that is how you install this app to your PSP so that is it for this one thank you guys so much for watching I know there was a lot of requests with more PSP videos so I'll try to bring you much more here on the channel and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot with the YouTube rankings and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future take care guys and I'll see you on the next one